Welcome back. Day three of the build. I still got hours to go, but um, anyways, went with some Wayne's coating. And in hindsight, I would do it different. I would use uh, a two part metal, uh, what is it? Automotive epoxy that they use for sheet metal. I would just lay that out on the back side of the Wayne's coating uh, and put that on there and hold it. The stuff that I use literally clear or uh, cures and hardens in five minutes, but that's what I would do. So what I did do is used inch and a half metal screws that had rubber washers on them. I just didn't want the stuff to come off and move. So is that a mistake? Yeah, maybe. But is what it is. Is what it is. That stuff isn't going anywhere. I'll tell you. But I'm going to get that painted. And I think I'm debating here what to do on the bottom. I'm not exactly sure yet. I might continue the wainscoting down there. But these pieces, these are all going to get pulled up. That's probably the next thing I'm going to do is get that stuff pulled up and get it ready for flooring. Um, you know, that's coming next. And then once I get these pulled up, we're going to fill all those seams in, fill all the seams in uh, everywhere where we pull the trim up. I'll see what's behind there. Got lucky. There's no, there was no leaks, no water damage anywhere. So, yeah. And then I got to figure out what I'm going to do here on the top. So that's the next thing. That will be in the next couple of days. So I'll update you every day. I don't know if anybody's interested in this or not. My videos always suck. My phone's crap. <laughs> so all my videos are like two minutes long or less. Um, but yeah, follow along if you want. Subscribe. And we'll keep you posted. Later, y'all.